In this video, I'll explain the concept of the Ronskian. So we're considering a uh, second order um, linear ODE, x double dot plus p, which is a uh, function of time, times x dot plus q times x equals zero. And suppose that we found uh, two solutions of this uh, ODE by uh, whatever means uh, we were able to find them. And then the question that brings in the Ronsky in is, can we use these two solutions to satisfy the initial conditions? So the initial conditions will be, in general, that x of uh, some initial time is equal to x naught, and that uh, x dot at some initial time is equal to u naught. Okay. So uh, what is the condition on x1 and x2 such that the, um, using them to form a general solution can satisfy these initial conditions? So um, using the principle of superposition, we can use x1 and x2 to write down a general solution. We write x of t equals some constant times uh, x1 of t plus some other constant times x2 of t, okay? And uh, those initial conditions are supposed to be used to determine those, uh, the free constants. Um, to apply the initial condition on the derivative, it's useful to write down the derivative. So this is simple because it's a linear uh, combination of functions. So we just take the derivatives of x1 and x2, okay? And then we apply the uh, initial conditions. So apply the initial conditions. So x of t naught is x naught. So that's equal to c1 x1 of t naught plus c2 x2 of t naught. And the initial condition on the velocity will be u naught equals c1 x1 dot of t naught plus c2 x2 dot of t naught, right? And then we need to solve then for the unknown coefficients c1 and c2. Uh, x naught and u naught are given. x1 and x2 evaluated at t naught are supposed to be known, as are the derivatives. So this is a system of two equations and uh, two unknowns, the unknowns being c1 and c2. So it's uh, the solution method is uh, straightforward, right? We take the first equation. We want to, if we want to eliminate c2, we multiply the first equation by x2 dot of t naught, right? Put a little times there. If we want to uh, eliminate c2, we multiply the second equation by x2 of t naught, right? And we take these equations and we subtract them. Okay. So then we'll get uh, x naught times x2 dot of t naught minus u naught times x2 of t naught equals, um, we're subtracting, so we have a c1, this x2 term uh, goes away, so we have a c1 times x1 of t naught times x2 dot of t naught minus um, x1 dot of t naught times x2 of t naught, right? And then we just solve this equation for c1. So um, we can do that. So we get c1 is equal to x naught, x2 dot of t naught minus u naught x2 of t naught divided by this quantity here x1 of t naught 
times x2 dot of t naught minus x1 dot of t naught times x2 of t naught. Okay? This denominator here is what's called the uh, Ronskian. We can call that W. So this is the Ronskian. Okay? So that's this denominator. Okay. So um, you can find an e equivalent equation for uh, C2. You find that C2 also has W in the denominator. Okay. So looking at these uh, equations for solutions for C1 and C2, we see that W cannot be zero. If W is zero, then there's no solution for C1 and C2. So the condition for the C1 and C2 to have a solution, meaning that we can satisfy the initial conditions, is that the initial conditions, right, can be satisfied if the Ronskian is not equal to zero. Okay? And um, it turns out that this is related to a uh, to a concept in linear algebra. Okay? The concept in linear algebra is that the uh, solutions of the um, second order linear equation uh, form a two dimensional vector space. Okay? And x1 and x2 then are vectors in that vector space. And the condition that the Ronskian is not equal to zero is equivalent to the condition that x1 and x2 are linearly independent vectors in that two-dimensional vector space. Okay? Uh, for those of you who know linear algebra. For those of you who don't yet know linear algebra, then it's sufficient to know that if you find two solutions, x1 and x2, of a second-order linear differential equation, um, you're able to find the general solution of that differential equation by a linear combination of x1 and x2, provided the Ronskian at, so, at the initial condition formed from x1, x1 dot, x2, and x2 dot is not equal to zero.